Grant has a wealth of knowledge about this coach, so we are about to learn a lot. All right. <laughs> Jump up. What's going on everybody? Andrew Steele here. It is a beautiful day here at Transwest Truck Trailer and RV. We're just outside of Denver, Colorado. Today I'm hanging out with Grant. He's one of the RV specialists here at Transwest. Hey guys, how you doing today? Grant Russell with Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. He's going to show us this 2020 Numar Supreme Air. Yeah, we've got a 2020 Supreme Air that we're going to do a walk around today. I'll show you not everything about it but some of the popular options that this one has on it and uh, talk about maybe some of the other product that we have on the lot. Oh, what's going on with this coach? Sure so we're in a 2020 Supreme Air. Uh, it's made by Numar. The Supreme Airs are all built on the M2 112 chassis. Uh, it's got a D13 Detroit 505 engine. Uh, the Supreme Air is a lot like your luxury brand by Numar. You got your Mountain Air, you get the Class A diesels, you got your Mountain Air, you got your Essex, you got your London Air, the King Air models. They all come with uh, silver leaf. If you pan over here, I'll show you what that is. So you've got the silver leaf system in the front, as well as the bedroom, which there's same panels in the back. Um, if you notice up front here, um, you've got the, the mitigation system here, so that, that will uh, give you adaptive cruise. It'll it'll warn you if you're traveling faster than the vehicle in front of you. So it's got some cool features there. A new feature uh, with Numar is the floating cab. So if you notice these, uh, the B pillar I call it. So the B pillar is got an air airbag system in it. So Numar does not delete the air ride system that the M2112 chassis comes shipped in on. Um, therefore, it's kind of a floating cab. It's this thing's going down the road. It's, it's very comfortable. It's got a nice ride, nice feel. It drives, I mean, it's like a semi truck going down the road. Uh, it also has air ride seats. So you've got air ride cab, air ride seats, and rear airbags on the rear. Let's go through and take a look at the interior of this. We're in a Bermuda glazed, I believe that's right. Yeah, Bermuda, Bermuda glazed maple hardwood finish. And this has the matte finish. So you can get this in high gloss, you can get it in matte finish, and there's four different wood stains by Numar. Notice that this has all tile floor. So this whole slide from front to back is all tile floor. You've got, the oh, yeah. star, so you've got the star foundation down below, just like your class A motorhomes do with, with Numar. Uh, the star foundation, strong, true, and robust. It's got a tubular weld on the base going from the, out, the exterior of the coach to the center frames. You got full pass-through storage on the exterior. You may have showed them this earlier. I don't know if you did or not when you're doing your walk around yeah. outside. Um, but uh, no, I, I, did, I didn't, so we'll have to take yeah, a look at so, that. Yeah, so that star foundation allows for Numar to do this full wall slide and all tile in your floor, no carpet. This whole, flo this whole floor is hydraulic, it comes up and 90 degrees comes in. Um, you got the combination desk dinette here, which is nice. Um, these out here, there's a booth, you can get a booth dinette, Euro booth dinette, freestanding table and chairs. This does come out. There's two more folding chairs under the bed, but this serves as like a little desk area. You can place to put all your pens and paperwork, oh, yeah. or you can use it for dishes. But there's a file cabinet down below here. Oh yeah. Some additional storage here, adjustable shelves. And if you notice when I close these these doors, I can point it out. Yeah. Soft, oh, soft close. Soft nice. Close. And these drawers. Soft close on all your drawers. Very cool. Um, come over on this side. So it's, it makes a nice dining table if you got you want to seat four. But if you want to make it a desk area too, you got a place for your laptop. You got a place for your hookups here. Um, electrical outlets down below. If you got a printer, there's a little pull out right here. Set your printer. Oh on. yeah, look at that. So it makes a nice little workstation slash dinette. Yeah, and really great that there's no carpet on the slide outs here. Makes it so much yeah. easier to clean. Absolutely. And everything's flush. You notice the floor is flush. Yeah. And then over in the kitchen area. So everything's again flush. You've got the sink covers set flush. Your uh, your covers for the induction cooktop are flush. 
yellow cutting boards on the flip side of oh, the that's cool. panels. Oh, that's cool. Very, me very like innovative, uh, well thought out. Yeah, Numar is the innovators. They uh, they come up with a lot of great ideas. Absolutely. Like this. So you got the removable induction cooktop. It's been out for a few years now. But you want to go outside? Cook fish outdoors, right? Because yeah. uh, that, that could uh, sneak up your coach. Very, very well thought out. And that just, well, if you see it's, it's plugged in here. Just easy. Just yeah, plug just it right plug in, in and unplug, unplug it. it. Plug and go. Simple, easy to use. All right. And yeah, grab that if you. Yeah. The big picture window here. Yes. That is awesome. Uh, it is an option. If you don't order it, you're going to get this whole wall, this tile wall all the way across it. Which is a great uh, backsplash there. The interior design team at Numar really does a great job. And, and, and I have to point out too, not only is that a huge window, but you've got really large windows all the way around. Oh, yeah. Behind that TV with a televator, another huge window up there really keeps it light and open i've never yeah. been in a super c i've been in a lot of super c's but nothing is even close to as open as this especially with the full wall slide and then all of these windows just really gives it a great feeling and that big front window gives you a lot of natural light yes awesome. yeah, definitely that's, that's a great idea that they did. also if you look at the exterior we go back outside we'll yeah. check out the underbelly they've got the integrated awnings we'll show you how those work yeah um these these panels here if you notice throughout the coach there's one over here you just, you notice they're, they're asleep now. They sleep after a couple minutes. But if you tap on them, wakes them right up. You've got all the different lights. If I want to just, uh, if I want to dim the ceiling lights, I can just drag this. The dinette lights, if I want to turn those on, I just tap it on. And again, you can, you can dim them. So that's kind of a neat feature. All your light systems are dimmable by just dragging this up and down. Very cool. And the home screen here. Uh, your lighting, your shades. If I want to run all my kitchen and living room shades at one time, I tap that button there, and they're all. That's going to be. Let me get them. That's going up. There we go. They're coming down. Oh wow! Very quickly as well. I will point out too. They just that was lightning fast response. Oh, notice, this uh, owner's manual was. Oops. Oh. So yeah, and I and I have to point out too. Look how nice these owner's oh, manuals yeah. are, stitched in Numar very nice yeah, that's a great reading material um we can put these back up with the, as much light. Yeah, here, oh we'll whoops. put it back up here yeah they're like you tap oh, them once they go nice. down tap it again and they go back up so you gotta toggle between the two wow but yeah you'll have these multiplex light stations throughout the coach there's mm -hmm. one here you've got one behind you over here right at your entrance door yeah um they've got one right here next to the television area and let's say you're sitting in the chair over here, you're watching TV, you're watching the football game, um, and, and it's over, and you wanna you go to get some more light in here. So if you pan around this this way, if I go into my home screen, I go into my systems. There's my TV up and down button. I hit TV down. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a cool feature. Very cool, yeah. And uh, let's see here. just one button you can press from across the room. And then when that TV goes down, it just really opens everything up with that large window and lots of light. And they've got a lot of cool, cool rigs over here at Trans West. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, come on out, guys. Uh, this is the Supreme Air by New Marble. We carry the whole lineup. We've got the Bay Star Sport. We've got the Bay Star. We've got the Canyon Star. We have the uh, the Ventana. Well, the Ventana LE has become the Country Star. So for 2020. And then the, the Ventana is keeping its own rank, still the same name. Then you have the Dutch Star. Next up in line with that would be the New Air, which is the short 33 to 35 foot motorhome, either with a 360 horsepower or a 450 horsepower. Uh, you jump to the luxury line, uh, Mountain Air, London Air, Essex King Air. We carry the whole lineup. So if, uh, if there's something that you guys are interested in seeing, um, give me a call. I don't know if I can send my number. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Yeah, give me your number. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first time doing a video with this, with the guy or <laughs> with Andrew. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. And uh, so you can call me anytime at seven two zero five three nine four seven one one. Got to say that Transwest probably has the largest, most diverse inventory of any dealership I've been to. They've got everything from Class Bs to Prevos, but really a hand selected, only Highline 
you know, Numar, the Highline brands. They've got the Prevo Emerald brand. A lot of you have seen uh, videos with my buddy Brad from Emerald Coach. But yeah, and, and, yeah. and, and I apologize. You know, I'm, I'm focusing on the, the Numar because we're in a Supreme Air, so I kind of said their whole lineup. We carry Renegade. We've got their lineup. If you like the Renegade front engine style, like the Supreme Air, we carry the Valencia, the Verona, the Verona LE, the Renegade XL, all the way up to the Icon. So, again, that's a nice, nice... Uh, genre of front engine diesel coaches as well as the Supreme Air and the Superstar, which I did leave out on the new more yeah. side of things. It, um, so, And then small ones, the yes, Rebels. Sir. We got the Rebels. For those of you out there that, that like to get out off the grid, away from civilization, and you want uh, solar, and you want something small, easy to get around in, four wheel drive, we carry the new Winnebago Rebel, and the new Winnebago Solus is out. So we carry some Winnebago products, the Navion, which has the slide outs. Um, Great fuel mileage vehicles. Come on down, come see us. We've got, I may have missed a few, but uh, we got a great selection and we got some nice trade ins too. So, uh, yes, again, yeah. crazy good, uh, crazy good pre owned inventory too. A lot of cool units. But let's uh, let's take a look at the rest yeah. of this, so uh, this Supreme Air. Hit some of the living room area so you get some optional dishwasher. Fisher Pay Cal, yeah. Yep. Uh, you've got the uh, standard. Oh, nice. It, it's a uh, It's the new. Uh, uh, Interback system by Interback. Interback has the hoses under, I think they're under the bed or down in the basement, but that hooks on here. Nice. So you you just sweep coach. everything right here. And then it even has an in. LED light as well, it's just so you can see so, everything. See Very cool. Going, yeah. uh, half bath. Uh, these, in, these doors open inwards. A lot of people are like, why does it do that? Well, your slide has to come in. And then when you're when traveling, somebody wants to get up and they need to use the restroom. This doesn't bang right into the cabinetry or the or the refrigerator. Yeah, it allows you to access the half bath. But you got some nice room in there. It does have a macerator flush. Uh, new this year, you've got to see the little black labeled uh, flush system there. Last year's are a little harder to read. This year's are much easier and better labeled, so you can see what your operations are like when you're finishing up business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got the king size bed, sleep number mattress. Um, electrical outlets on both sides of the bed and if you if you get close you can see they have USB ports. USB ports Everybody's yeah. Everybody's got the phones these days and the, and the charge system so they built in the USB ports and the plugs there. We've got a lift assist on the underneath here for the under storage. Extra chairs. Extra chairs for that dinette we talked about earlier. Nice. Uh, this is a sleep number mattress I may have said that already but in case you missed it you got it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we come to the back You've got, again, another full bath. We saw the half bath. So this one has stackable washer and dryer. Again, so, um, you, and you have the escape door. So about three years ago, in 2017, I believe it was, uh, Newmar came out with the egress door. Yeah. So you've got this door that opens up here. Nice. And then you got this panel that comes off here. And then the ladder, I don't want to do it now, but you just uh, take the Velcro up, the ladder drops straight down, you got the handle. It makes it much easier getting out of here. Yeah. You never know when there might be an emergency to get out of here. No, that's that's very, very well thought out. Huge shower. Yeah. And let's see, medicine cabinet here. So get some good storage there. Yeah, and I'll point out too, just all of the small details that they've done in design. Uh, like the drain right here, it's just a non-conventional drain. The stuff right. that I yeah, see in like the real high-end resorts and stuff. Look, right? Same thing that they did in the shower as even, well. Uh, even like your faucet, the little waterfall that trickles. Oh up. yeah, That's a pretty cool feature. Absolutely. And then you've got some more storage here. Open it up. Got a pan in there. It's got a safe. Oh yeah, look at that. Hanging storage, and then three drawers three below. Drawers. Soft clothes. They should be. I think you get them all. Well. Let's see, some of the, yeah, it does. That's you just got to get yeah. them to that point. Yeah. yeah. And just all of the cool woodwork Newmar does. A lot of people know that they're known for all of the Amish woodwork and just. Right. So these are built in Napanee, Indiana, which is in Amish country. Yeah. Um, Mennonites, Amish, they've got the best woodwork in the country, I think. And uh, the furniture that that, uh, that they build and the, and the cabinetry that, that Newmar builds is you know, state of the art. I think it's one of the best. So, so here's that silver leaf panel I was talking about. We showed you in the front. So these mirror each other. So if I change the system here in the front, 
if I want to change my temperature in the living room and I want to bring it down a little bit I can drag this here to 62 and then I, if I go up to the front that also changes. so they do mirror each other they they're gonna feed off one another if I change the system here it changes up front uh, but you can control your gen generator in here your AC DC power uh, for, for your you can change your between 20 amps 30 amps 50 amp load sheds uh, right now the inverters on standby but that's where you're gonna you can enable it so if you want the uh, inverter on when you're traveling you can you can watch a movie going down the road you can, nice. um, you can use some of your electrical outlets so that basically is taking the 12 volt system and inverting it to 110 power so your TVs will work and your electrical outlets will work nice you got three 15,000 BTU air conditioners, all three with heat pumps. Um, if you want to run them while you're going down the road, fire up the generator. You can run these while you're driving. I get that question a lot. Can you run the generator while you're driving? Absolutely you can. Nice. Um, you got passengers in the back, you want to keep them cool, it's 100 degrees outside, fire up the gen, turn on the air conditioners. Yeah. Why don't we go outside? Show Perfect. You some of At the main entrance here, you've got your controls. This is your, your Gerard awning controls. You also have a remote control that you can put in your pocket, which operates the awnings on the outside. Nice. Um, this is gonna be your uh, over the air wine guard antenna. It's electric, you don't have to crank it up and crank it down, it's all uh, push button. And you got your hydraulic leveling system here. Um, for those of you that like Wi-Fi, it does have the Wi-Fi Ranger. Nice. The Wi-Fi Ranger, you can actually, um, buy data through your provider, whether it's AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile and Sprint have merged recently. But um, you can get by the uh, SD card and and mount it in the antenna the, on the rooftop and buy data and you have basically Wi-Fi at home, but on the road, everywhere you go, you got um, over the road Wi-Fi. If you don't buy it, it acts as a booster. So this will actually boost your signal from different campgrounds that have Wi-Fi available. Cool. This is your Traveler, um, SK300 they call it on the Numar sheet, it is Direct TV. Uh, we can swap those out for those of you that have Dish Network, but this one did come equipped with the Direct TV satellite. And then of course these are all your other features here. You've got uh, driver's side window awning, which is going to be on that side. So that runs the oh, nice. in and out, if you notice nice. it's going out. Yeah. And then you've got the passenger side window awning. Oh, everything's push button. These are all part of that Gerard system. Yeah. That turns the Wi-Fi router on and off. Does it have the big Gerard awnings up top? It does, yeah. About there, yeah. and I'm cool. running that one out. So it should have both awnings going out right now. So you have the huge awnings, and the wind sensor may catch them. It is a little windy out here in Colorado, but they are definitely going out there. Oh, there was still level coming all the way out the steps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the and, and this has the hydraulic step. So when I, I, I turned it off, so when I closed this door, oh, here's another thing step cover. Yep, I see that. You don't see step covers too often in a Super C motorhome. This one has it. Yeah, and it's push button, it comes out and flush, so it gives you a flush floor. You can see that right there, and it'll be the same floor as the rest of the floor. When I close this. The steps are going to come in. It's all hydraulic driven. Nice. Look how clean that is. Yeah, really clean. And then the keyless entry. You can lock and unlock all your compartment doors and your entrance door using the keypad here. Then our presets are codes, and then the new owner can reset them. Okay, cool. We give you instructions on how to do that. Cool. So you got some, some storage around the front here. I like the the this stainless is, trim too. So notice how much room you got here. Oh yeah. Somebody's need to replace batteries. You got a slide tray. Plenty and it just of makes room. it easier. Oh, it slides right out. That's nice. Right out. Very well thought of. And you've got eight AGM batteries all all hooked an outdoor TV. Nice. The TV pulls out. Oh, that's cool. You got the sun glare coming at you. Nice. You can get the glare off. Just pull it out. And the Bose bar is on. You got the Bose surround sound inside or sound sound bar, I guess you call it. Yeah. So used to the old system called surround sound. <laughs> Uh, the Oasis is the hydronic heat system this coach has. So it's a low pressure hydronic heat system that um, that all the all the Supreme Air is going to come with. It, it gives you continuous hot water and it also heats the coach. Nice. So you got the heat pumps inside. You got the hydronic heat when you turn the furnace on. And one thing I failed to mention is it has electric heat strips underneath the tile floor. 
Oh, very That's cool. cool. Heated right. tile floors. Right. Over here. So this, this is the side of the fresh water tank system. You've got 105 gallons of fresh water. Instead of the side of a tank, they put this pegboard with these nice little shelves, put tools, nice. things to, you know, extra storage outside. You notice a little handle at the bottom there, that's a low point drain valve to release all your fresh water out if you're going to be winterizing it. Dump nice. all the water out of the system. Well, see on a Super C motorhome. Pass through storage. Oh yeah, look at that. Slide tray. Nice, in the back of the Super the C. You, get, you can see over the top there, there's your inner vac. So you've got a huge, is that the, the beam of the chassis that, or what am I seeing here? That's the I-beam, the, that's the rail of the chassis. On the M2-112, that's the rail. So when these can't come shipped into Newmar, it's got the, the wheels, the rail, and then Newmar builds the shell. You know, we talked about the star foundation. There's one of your tubular welds right there. Oh yeah, look at that. There's your inner vac I was talking about earlier, so that's where you change, clean the filter out. Yeah. And here you've got some more passenger storage. Outside egress door. Sorry. So it got, comes with an extra hitch here. This will tow up to 20,000 pounds. Nice. It does have a little light on and off switch, so that's for the back here. Oh, back cool. light on and off. So a little light switch right yep. here, so that when you're that's hooking cool. up your trailer, Yep, so you can turn that on and off. Wow, and even more storage back here. Yeah, look at those lights, wow. See how they light up there? And then you've got full, some more storage on the back. Look so at you know, that. On the back of a Class C motorhome, a Super C. Yeah, I have definitely, I've definitely never seen anything like this. And you can just tell when you look at this, at the construction of the beam, you could tell that how important that star construction is, like you were mentioning. Right. Yeah, it just sits. It sits right above the rail, so you know the the actual foundation doesn't sit right on on the rail. It just sits barely above it. So you get some flex in the motorhomes. You don't get any tile popping. So it, it allows for a little bit of flex. So that's a, that's a nice feature that the Newmar does on all their all their builds. Seven way plug. It's pre-wired for brake control. If you're towing a big trailer behind you and you want to have you know, access to the brakes on the trailer, it's already wired for that. The Voyager system there, if you've got a camera on the trailer behind you, you can toggle between coach camera or trailer camera on the dash up front. Nice. And then down, to here, down below here, you've got an additional, actually that's the seven way here. This is the five way here, I believe. Cool. 20,000 pound hitch. Yeah beefy hitch there yeah these pass these pass through bays in the rear of this coach are really really unique and innovative and then the storage up top there really gives it a got a ton of storage back here and pass through. I mean you got fishing poles you've got canoes you got kayaks you've got your golf clubs I mean luggage you got yeah you and, got the, all kinds and, of room and the way here. it's organized you kind of have this shelf here that can be accessed from, from the, the back, from yeah. the back. So if you, you wanted to table. slide in like surfboards or yep. paddle boards, uh, Midlife Prevo was talking about trading in for a Freightliner. They may yep. need to take a look at this Numar. Right. Yep. Giant picnic tables. You slide right in there. I... Look at how they do these doors, Andrew. See this hinge? Watch yep. how it, watch how this comes up. See that? Yep. Oh Isn't yeah. Cool? So this, this I've got to mention the video that I did with Theodore, Malin Miller's grandson who had an 05 London Air that was showing the very first coach that had that technology which Malin Miller developed uh, several years ago. But you can see Malin Miller's grandson, the previous owner of Newmar, talking about that in that video. It's titled, uh, Newmar Prototype to Compete with uh, Prevor Newell. Definitely worth checking that video out. Slide out, when it, when it goes in, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's right now it's flush, right? So yep. it came out and then went down flush. So when it goes in, it's gotta go up and then 90 degrees in, or 90 degrees in. Same thing with the door. That way you don't do any damage to it. Yep. Station, if you notice, everything's etched here. I mean, everything, it's easy to read. A lot of times you see some other manufacturers out there that'll, that'll 
over time it'll wear off so this will be easy to read for the life of the coach easy to access your water pump these are electric tank tank valve dump dump valve switches here to open your black tank to open your gray tank uh, your sewage rinse is here uh, whole house water filtration system outdoor shower and it does have a macerator pump so you can actually pump your solid it grinds up your waste in here in the macerator pump and it pumps your waste up you can actually pump your wastewater uphill if you wanted to yeah nice um, and if you don't want to use it you can just simply hook up here and just use it as a gravity dump yeah that electronic hose reel is really nice yeah so you pull it out and walk it to your hookups for your city water and push it through it in very cool very cool sorry about all the pink stuff it's winterized right now oh no worries so you got a 50 foot 50 amp power cord nice that power cord will reach just about any power pole out there um, and again you walk it out push button right here look at this right here on the side so they used to have it inside on the older coaches here I just push it here. oh wow that's yeah, cool so in. the button right there buttons on the door will move the 50 amp cord in so that you don't have to reach in there very very right. well thought out and as you notice in here that's where your inverter is located um, that, that's what pulls up the, the eight AGM batteries that are on that slide tray so the inverter uh, will invert the 12 volt to 110 nice gen start through that silver leaf panel and if you want to set if you dry camp a lot and you want to set it to monitor for low voltage it'll kick your batteries on as needed when you enable the AGS mode nice 12,500 watt diesel generator two more bays so you got a hundred and you got a hundred gallon fuel tank nice and your chassis battery is going to be back behind here nice you do have an auxiliary pump here so what that's for is if your if your um, your air is dumped and you don't want to start the coach up to air it up, you can use the auxiliary pump and that air is that helped build air up on the coach. So pretty easy to open. Just release those clips. And yeah. Access to the engine there. D13. So, uh, Detroit. Detroit D13? 505 horsepower. Nice. That's the power plant right there, ladies and gentlemen. Grant, I cannot thank you and the folks at TransWest enough for letting us take a look and sharing so much great information about this new Mar. No uh, problem. If folks are serious buyers and need to get a hold of you, how can folks get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. So if you want to get a hold of me, you can call me direct on my cell phone. It's at 720-539-4711. You can email me, uh, G. Russell. That's two S's and two L's at transwest.com. So G. Russell at transwest.com. Uh, or you can call, uh, if you want to call Transwest, it's 303-684-3400. And I hope everybody's doing well out there. Stay safe and happy travels. Hey, I greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, guys.